Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm here with Mass Effect Legendary Edition. The real reason is, is that I wanted to uh, play Mass Effect, and I figured why not record the video for a little bit here for a bit. I can justify it if it's for um, a video I'm doing. <laughs> so that's going to be today's video. I don't know if I would play the entirety of it. If you don't know, I guess it'd be now would be a good time to tell you, oh god, I, I think everything's breaking. Is what I was afraid of when it came to Mass Effect 1. Okay, let me see if it... Alright. That was the launcher, technically speaking, so... There it is. Oh, no! Alright, there we go, fixed. <laughs> it really broke down. Anyway, I have a deep love for Mass Effect. And uh, I have a deep love for Welcome Mass Effect. Welcome to Alliance Military oh, Database. This is loud. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. There we go. Secure connection um, confirmed. Yeah, big love for Mass Effect. So let me see, who am I? I am John Shepard. Hello. Please log in to access your profile. Yep, profile my name is John. Construction complete. Yep. Identification confirmed. Made normal, auto level up, off. Scaling, legendary mode, does it have classic mode? Alright, I'm gonna stick with legendary mode just to see what they've changed. Um, subtitles on. Sure. And let's go. Um, it's been years since I've played one two and three so very interested to see if you follow me on twitter you know that i've well, been very what about Shepherd? negative Birdborn? about what's been happening with mass no effect ever since andromeda and i don't feel that they'll ever make another good mass effect streets. game uh so i was actually pleasantly surprised when this came he out and it was actually a good collection because he could have some serious it was <laughs> it had been a very long time since this Every people being positive gone. for mass effect Shepherd's a survivor. So, Is that the let's kind get of into person it. We want Probably just the do the intro beginning here. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Hello, Keith David. The year 2148, explorers of Mars discovered the remnants of an ancient space-sharing civilization in the decades that follow. Those mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis that's incredible technology with a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it... Mass Effect. Ah, oh, man, this music. Everything's very nostalgic to me right now. This also looks pretty decent considering Mass Effect 1 is uh, an early 360 game on Unreal Engine 3. Terrible generation in terms of things that aged well. Holy crap did Unreal Engine 3 look bad back then. And it's aged terribly. It doesn't help that most of everything that was used in Unreal was grey and looked bad, so... I guess that's technically not their fault, but... Eee. The board is green. Approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Hello, Seth Green. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Oh, good old Caden, boring you ass Caden. Your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. 
The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. That's Something angry. must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Let's see. Quad. Well, let me see, there's one. I actually usually level up Charm, because it opens up dialogue boxes for me. Oh, I can just put it all on Charm? Okay, that works. <laughs> No, no helmet? Okay. I'd say right now, this already feels better than the 360 version of this. The 360 version... I don't know, maybe it was just because the weird lag mode. Uh, save. Maybe I just have muscle memory from my times of playing it. Let me talk to Joker. Alright, I'm out of here. Do a little run. Mass Effect tonight. This is the guy, if I remember right. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Do you think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out Jesus, the Jesus, when you compare Shepard's face to Anderson basically Trump everyone else's face, <laughs> there's a huge Spectres difference. Are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a specter, a Turian specter, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Uh, what do you know about the stealth systems? Tell me about the stealth systems. I just know systems. it masks our location from scans. See, so yeah, this is why I always thought this game was cool. It's because you could always learn more about the world itself at any way you want. I don't know, at the time there wasn't a lot of stuff like this in sci-fi games, and to be fair, there still isn't a lot of this in sci-fi games. Uh, most sci-fi games are like, I guess, Destiny, and they're just like, shoot, 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 bang, bang, bang. Done. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces yeah, officers he is. in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. Weird you flex. Don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs Whoa. in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost Space a lot of friends. Spacism. Turians hit Spacism. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous oh, okay. to have a Spectre on board. At least it's understandable. A We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain. Spectre. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Damn right. All right, let's go. Can I talk to Chocolas right now? I can talk to Chocolas. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me oh, catching up so two young. members in the infirmary. Does she always look like this? Doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you Nihilus. tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well-respected by the other species. 
Their fleet has more Are they usually well respected? From what I've been in this game, most people just kind of trash talk the well Turrians. Dressed, Some people find them too rigid. <laughs> that might be the Others still blame them for the first contract war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Tell me what Only you know what about I've the Spectres. Heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible right. situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. You're Tell from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Uh. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Yeah, Good rub the belly just Normandy real quick. For a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's yeah. got to be something else going on. They are trying their best here, even That's though it is so a 360 game. Well <laughs> Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. Yeah, do this real is my big quick chance. Off. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful, You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Yeah, don't, don't do rush off yourself. and immediately don't die. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, command. I very much doubt that he's gonna not screw this up based off of my memory of this game. Let's run. Shepard, run! Hello, Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's the Anderson? said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. Nah, Turkeys are so in fucking this world cool. Going to. Eden Look at them. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond they beautiful. say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. It's true, we are. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's real. Self bomb keep David. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need to know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Hmm. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species hmm. see you as selfish. That's all very true. Unpredictable. I also wouldn't trust humans in space. Dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. 
We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Something about Cat. Uh, this Not is something that's always been true about Anderson's face. It's always felt a little bit weird. A remarkable will to live. Maybe it's because it's a Keep David talking and I keep expecting him to look like Keep David. your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Hmm. We are an elite He's a group. Goodie. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. No pressure. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. I bet it's gonna be people just attacked. Get down! Boo, Ashley. Get off the screen and kill her. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold at 38.5 mm. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Big claw in the sky. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. You're so far away. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. I also don't need a helmet. Peace. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Perfect. Game. Let's roll. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're hot. I was about to shoot those things, but decided against it. It's quiet. Too quiet. You're gonna die. Three. There we go. Two, one. <laughs> Ghost chickens. I 
most from my gun. There we go. No, that's changing now. No rip right to his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Instantly marked, but it's fine. We didn't need him. Achoo, ready gel, containers. I can say right now that this game controls better now that it has actual like, shooter controls. I've got some burnout oh, shit. buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, I'll try to catch up with you at the So if you didn't side. know this back in the old days, the original <laughs> Mass Effect. That must have been my grenade. The original Mass Effects use um D, D style controls, so it was actually similar to Fallout, where depending on your dice roll, it determined whether or not you hit or not. It looks like they changed that for this game, which is good. Because let me tell you, it was not a good system. It's the reason it was the hardest game to go back to, so the shooting actual part of it was terrible. But they were going for something different, so. It's understandable. There's Ashley. You can tell she's a girl because she's wearing a different outfit from all the men. <laughs> Got him right up the spine. That could not have been a good death. It's like a Mortal Kombat fatality. I shouldn't laugh, but it, it's really funny to see it out of nowhere. I'm about to start shooting Ashley. That's my gut feeling. There you go. Take out the death. Okay, ew. Leave my sight. Actually, Gunnery Chief Ashley you. Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. Leave me alone. Are you wounded, okay. Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. My I've guns been on my chest. My life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I wonder if I in the, the future... This isn't your fault. Boob armor you have done anything is still them. a thing to go. Like chests, yes, obviously sir. they have to be modified. We held but our position as long as we could until the Geth overwhelmed us. It always Geth makes me curious if some women years. really do need like Why a boob blade. Now? Like obviously, if you're a man and you have a huge chest, you also need that they chest room. But the, the very the idea to close, just have them in like a it might still be there. We could use have them in like a circle containment unit to keep them in place. Always felt silly to me. Let's go. Move out. I don't want to hear more from Ashley, even if it is helpful. Okay. Let's see, squad. Uh, what do I want from you? That'd be good. Let's go with that. Uh, let's see. What about you? I think I'll put it in assault rifles. I'm done here. I'm not paying too much attention to what they do because the beacons at the far end of this trench. Yeah, not really gonna be using them for very long. Take all. Oh. I don't think that's better than what I got, so keep on going forward. Sniper 
rifle. Bang, bang, bang. blank range. <laughs> Maybe they did keep the old system. Cause yeah, that's what it was this a lot is the like. Dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Anything here? Nope. So, run forward. Where the hell did we go from here? I should really check the map. Oh, we go up. Ah. Yeah, some parts of this game still a little bit wonky. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> Weird space stuff. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? Some weird sci-fi zombies. Die. Die, zombie. Easy peasy. Open. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. You're safe. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What You're else fun. can you tell me about the attack? It reminds it me of waking up so and fast. going on to Twitter every day. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. That works. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. Could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit 
Unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Did you notice a Turian no. in the area? I saw him. That's impossible. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module Enough about on the galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Do the do. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. It's never the time. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. I think this is a good place to stop off. Oh, what? What am I doing? There we go. Some other stuff happens, but I think I have my curiosity basically satiated for now. I am too busy doing other stuff, but I think eventually I will get back into playing more Mass Effect, because I think Mass Effect's awesome. 1, 2, and parts of 3. Hopefully, I wonder if the Legendary Edition has all the good DLC from 3 that helped make it better. I've never didn't I've never actually done a run with um, all the DLC in it. I actually watched it after I had finished original Mass Effect 3 like a lot of people did, but I hear it made it, a, it much better, so. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, Mass Effect's cool. If you've never played it, go play it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thanks for indulging me if you watched all this, by the way. It really is just, I love Mass Effect. Let me do a video. Boom. <laughs> Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.